and you know we we've got the resources seriously dude shotgun Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go after some tames today. Um, I was going to run the uh, Kuzuma was it cave, um, but we've been doing a lot of cave runs lately, so let's let's do something different in this episode. Uh, the Kuzuma was it meaning the uh, Skylord <laughs> cave. I actually need to get myself another otter because I only want to go in that place once. Um, and bring an otter, and that way I can take, you know, at least a couple of those artifacts out. So anyway, we are after one or more of Uteranus, high-level Therizino, high-level Uteranus, any level Tapahara, and high-level Rex. So I got the saddles for that. We got 500 narcotic. We have traps. I'm, uh, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube using billboards, so I'm going to try that uh, for some traps. Um, and let's see, we've got 135 shocking trank darts. We got sniper bullets for our amazing sniper rifle that we found in the cave. Um, and I also have this 283% damage long neck rifle. So that with shocking darts is going to pack a punch for sure. Um, let's see. And I think that's it. We, we don't really need to take the antidote, but we will anyways. Uh, I got Gilly for the Tapahara team. Um, and I also have some rare flowers because uh, one way to get Tapaharas is to... Uh, eat rare flowers and then they'll actually attack you um, so I got, got those along of course everything else in the area will too so it's kind of risky but we'll just kind of see how that goes and um, yeah so just a couple of quick things to get you updated on here at the base uh, I have started a third platform I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this platform yet but I started it <laughs> uh, and because it just gives us more space but I've also done a lot of work in the barn, which I'll show you in a second, uh, to gain some space too. Um, the one thing about this setup is, you know, that particular platform is not in the yard at all. It doesn't have to be per se, but it isn't. So yeah, I'll have to think about if I want to expand the yard at some point. And then, yeah, I've done uh, some work in here for sure. Uh, made a lot more space because we were just getting really crowded. So let's see. Uh, first thing I want to show you is look at these really cool mutated uh, berries that we have now. So these mu berries have both a health mutation and a stamina mutation. I don't really care about the stamina so much, but the health mutation is absolutely wonderful. And I love the colors. So um, all of our old berries, I have not culled them because they're all imprinted and they're all very strong dinos. So the plan for a very large percentage of these berries, um, these need to be leveled is to take them to the ice cave and probably just leave them there. Uh, so we will still be using those. Um, I built a little room here uh, for the for the Akatinas, and uh, they seem to be staying in, in here, and they're just breeding like crazy. I can't keep up with it, but we've got, uh, you know, so so much mini pacing. Everything is just crazy. Um, looks like we may have some Akatinas that died there because I didn't feed them or whatever, but, I mean, it, we already have too many, to be honest with you, but... It works. Um, let's see. For Therizinos, we have we now have three. Yeah, we have three base mothers and a base father, which is good. But uh, like I mentioned in the last episode, the they have a, a a lower melee stat, and I'd really like to find something with a higher melee stat if we can. If we can't, then we'll just keep going with these, and we can start a melee specific line. Also with this guy, too, because he does have a melee stat uh, when the time comes, uh, which we could actually probably start doing here pretty soon. But, yeah, I'll worry about that later. These three are going to have to go to Theory Heaven uh, as well as, well, no, this one we'll probably use as a backup dino. 
Um, also, the birds. We have mutations on the birds. They they like to get stuck in the ceiling. So look at these guys. Um, come on down. Come on down and say hi to the people. Look at the colors on these. Just gorgeous. So these two have uh, a health mutation. They have two health mutations, a stamina and a melee. And for Argies, you want health, stamina, melee, and weight. All four of them matter, especially if it's a utility bird. And a just gorgeous color. So um, when these guys grow up, they're going to replace uh, the father, this father here. And um, we'll see if we can uh, breed some more of these colors. And more importantly, the, continuing to get good stats on these as we go on with the Argies. All right, so I think that's it to get you guys updated as far as what's going on here. Oh, as, and as far as the barn goes... I basically moved everything upstairs that it's not an, a dyno that I use on a regular basis. Uh, so we got the, the Avis up here. We've got all the birds that I can't bring myself to cull because I like their colors. Uh, we got our wolf pair and our cat care, uh, cat pair, our uh, <coughs> Thylacaleo phyla, pair. Um, by the way, these are technically marsupials. They're not actually cats at all, but... Um, you know, I, I named one of them Bobcat because Bob Marsupial just doesn't quite sound right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so they're up here. Um, and then we got our, our pig pair, our pooper pair, our, and our dodix. I just, I, I get so much stone just using the Anki for metal and stuff that I haven't really needed to use those guys. But I do have, you know, we will probably need them in the future. And then, of course, we use the beaver all the time. We use the Ankies all the time. We use the bear. We haven't actually used the bear as much lately now that I got the beehives, which speaking of which, I haven't harvested those in a little bit. Um, let's let's check those real quick. So we'll see uh, how much honey we currently have. I checked them a few days ago, but it's been a, a little while. Um, I guess uh, I put my ghillie on Concord. If you wear a full ghillie suit, you won't get stung. Or if you take insect repellent you won't get stung but you don't need you don't need both of those things so we have an almost all ascendant ghillie suit um, just the hands are the only thing I haven't found yet on those okay yeah look at that 102 honey nice so that means we have 306 in total most likely because we have three hives it's a beautiful thing it is indeed. Uh, where am I going? Down here. So, yeah, it's, it's just nice to have those hives because now I don't have to go out and gather it on the bear. E even though that's kind of fun to do, but after a while, you know, it uh, it's just more efficient this way. All right, so that gives us a total of 459 honey. Very, very good. Let's put our... Uh, really, really good armor back on. Uh, this is still the best headpiece that I have out of all the armor, though, so that's why we're still wearing the ghillie for our head. And I think we're ready to take off. Concord, you got all your stuff, right? Here, let's put the ghillie back on you just so we ourselves are not heavy. I will only put that on if we come across a Tapahara. Um, I want a Tapahara because I want to use it to shoot from its back. Uh, my understanding is that you can with it landed you can climb in the back seat and then just use whistles to make it move towards a target like a quetzal in particular um i've never actually tried that i've done something kind of similar in the past on an argent with a grappling hook but i haven't done it tried it with a tapahara so that's really the main reason why i want to get one of those birds plus they're also really really good for building too uh, because of their ability to hover and go backwards and all that sort of thing now um we're going to head back over towards the sea base because I did see a Tapahara over this way. Um, and then we'll just kind of fly around and see, you know, what, what kind of dinos we can find. You know, the other thing I actually would like to get is, uh, and I've mentioned this to you guys, is a high-level Bronto for Renny and Natha Taman too. Uh, but I did not bring a Bronto saddle with me. So if we, if we find one, you know, we'll just have to run back and grab a saddle. I've got uh, a few saddles, and I got, actually got some really nice Ascendant blueprints for Bronto, too. All right, yeah. So everything is going well. I think we're 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 on track here for. Not that I have a deadline per se. I did find out, however, that scorched earth 
is supposed to be released now in March. And I had originally heard from somebody that it was going to be December, but now it's March. And that, that's actually a good thing because it gives me a little more breathing room. Uh, I don't have to feel like I'm in such a hurry because I I would like to start on Scorched Earth as soon as it's re Oh, there's a tape jar right there. Uh, as soon as it's released. Wait, is that a tap R? Yeah, it is. Okay. What level is it? I mean, I'd like to get a high uh, level 10. Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's just let's let's see if we can find something a little bit better than that. <laughs> I mean, I said I'd get any level, and I will if we don't find anything else. But yeah, I'd like something a little better than a level ten. Anyway, uh, yeah. So score short is supposed to come out on uh, sometime in March. Uh, so I like I like that timing because now I feel like I can kind of slow down a little more, relax, and just enjoy the island without feeling rushed. Uh, what I was going to do if Scorched Earth came out is I was going to actually start Scorched Earth while I continued on the island, but we probably will not need to do that. It just kind of depends upon how far along we go, because, you know, now we can take some time and really breed up a super, super strong army um, to pr pretty much almost guarantee no defeat. That being said, though, I would like to actually still get to the main bosses, not 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 the overseer per se, but the main bosses as soon as possible, just so that we can get the tech ingrams, right? And and have some time to enjoy the tech ingrams. Um, so my plan for that is I'm planning on killing all of the bosses on on alpha so we can get all the, the tech stuff. But I'm going to also kill them on gamma because I'm probably, I haven't decided this for sure yet, but I'm probably going to do the overseer a lot overseer on gamma and the reason why is because i've never done it uh and it's more important to me to just experience the story and you know get the coffee mug that says hey i beat the overseer than it is to beat the overseer on alpha but we'll see how that goes if i, if I feel like you know when the time comes <laughs> gesundheit that our army is just super super strong we might even try it on alpha too but it, like i said i really i just want to do it <laughs> And so I don't mind doing it on Gamma. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, all right. So I did see another Tapahara over here a, a while ago. It's even possible that it's that one back over there. Um, but yeah, let's just keep flying around. I, I do, you know, obviously I am planning on also getting the Rhino Anatha uh, too. Uh, thus the reason for a Bronto. Um, but it's not, that's not something I'm actively searching for quite, quite yet. Um, because I want to have, you know, be ready for it. Uh, the other thing, too, about the Rhino Nath is that once you do get it, you know, and impregnate your dino, then it wants all kinds of different shit to improve its taming quality. So I want to try and have as much of that stuff on hand as I can when the time comes. Uh, okay, there's there's the Tapahara there. Um, it is level 20. Okay, so that's a little bit better than a 10. It's still not that much better problem is it's really high in the sky though and these guys when they get up high they stay they seem to stay up high for a long time hmm so let's um let's just let's run out to the sea base really quick because i need to drop something off i have um i think i have some new mutations on the sharks too I still have not found a basilosaur yet. I, I'm very confident, though, that we could do the West Sea Cave right now, even with our low, lower level basilosaur. And we probably will be doing that very soon. Um, for one thing, I think I have a better chance of finding a good Megalodon saddle in that Sea Cave uh, before we tackled the West Cave, because the West Cave is going to be the hard one. That's the <clears throat> kind of the ultimate challenge in the sea is... Uh, I'm sorry, the East Sea Cave, yeah, is defeating the eastern sea cave so yeah let's just run over here really quick uh i want to drop something off and then we'll we'll keep flying around i might yeah i don't i don't know what to do about that tap hearts it, 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 it we could be waiting for a very long time for it to land <laughs> so it might be better we might be better off to see if we can find another one somewhere else there is one other announcement that i want to make you guys may be aware of this already if you're not uh, supposedly, um, Wildcard is going to put cryopods in the game sometime in December. So, I've been thinking about that. 
having cryopods in the game would just make things so much easier. But here's the thing. I started this series not expecting to have cryopods. I am also an old school arc player. I started playing the game almost when it first came out and have, you know, several thousand hours into the game. And cryopods were not around in the in the back of the old days. So, I think I already imprinted you, right? Yeah, I did. And so, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use them or not. What I what I might do is I might use them to store dinos, but I'm, I haven't decided if I'm going to use them to move them around. Um, cause I've, you know, I, I've just been thinking about how I'm going to handle that in the challenge of it. And I might, you know, in spite of having cryopods, I might go ahead and still not use them, uh, at least for transporting dinos. I don't know. I haven't decided that for sure yet. It might get to a, a point where I get so damn frustrated with, you know, dino pathing that I just capitulate and start using them. So I'm not promising anything, um, but I am just letting you know, in case you didn't know, that they are supposed to be into the game sometime in December. From what I heard, and I heard that, you know, from another YouTuber, so I don't know if that's absolutely true. And when they do come, you know, we'll have to make some decisions as to whether we're going to use them and at, you know, to what extent we'll use them. So we'll just play that one by ear. All right, I'm going to fly around for a bit, guys, and I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll bring you back uh, when we find something worthy to tame. Check this out. This is one of those um, tech explorer note thingies. The system has existed for eons. Considering all the variables, it has adapted well. Much like you, it has toiled to reach its goals. And it has overcome many obstacles. However, the scale is larger. The struggle is longer. In organic beings, age can slow reflexes and dull thought. Not so with the system. The speed and efficiency of its calculations are not in doubt. One could argue they're the problem. If a function has a 0.001% chance to cause an error, but it's only run a dozen times, an aberration is unlikely. But a trillion times? Then it's inevitable. More time, more errors. A drop turns to a trickle. A trickle to a flood. As I said, everything is finite. The system is no exception. All right, that was very sci-fi-ish. <laughs> really cool, though. Uh, speaking of sci-fi, my, my dad and I watched um, The Martian last night uh, with Matt Damon. I've seen the movie before, but he hadn't seen it. And, man, that is such a good movie. I really like that movie. If you guys have never seen it, do yourself a favor and watch that movie. It is so good. Uh, you don't even have to be a science fiction fan. It's not even really science fiction per se. It's very it's very near future, um, you know, in, in terms of like its, its genre or whatever. Uh, but it's just such a good movie. So, yeah, check that out if you've never seen it. The Martian with Matt Damon. Really good stuff. We got ourselves a level 35 Giganotosaurus female. Um, there was a level 60 something up in the volcano caldera for a long time, but it finally died in the lava. Um, I was wondering if what the possibility would be of getting see if seeing if I could draw that thing down into the ice cave. Because if we could get it down inside of there, we'd be able to trap it. I, I, just, I don't have the stuff with me to do that, but... Let's just, um... Let's just mess with it for a second. Let's see if we can pull it over. I, I don't... It might not 
you know, it might not fit down there at all. But if we could get it down there, then it would should be pretty easy to trap it. Oh shit. Wonder if it's stuck on something. Probably. Um it would be a good idea to get a pair of gigas, if for no other reason than to I know this sounds bad, but <laughs> use their babies for leveling, because that is like one of the best ways to do it. Of course, I'm using the swamp cave to level my berries. Because then I'm killing two two birds with one stone, you know, with the loot and everything. But we can't we can't get our, our Therizinos, of course. Oh shit. Um inside of the swamp cave, so Giga Babies is really the next best thing. It's a tough tree. So if I can manage to get this thing down inside, then I'll run back to the base and go make some metal gateways to try and trap it down there. Um, there's a hole right here but again uh, oh you know what else could potentially happen is have it just get caught in the hole it, just in the hole itself I mean I don't know if the AI would do that alright let's go see if we can Get its attention. I think what I'll... I, I don't want to waste... Shocking darts on it. This is really... This isn't really an attempt to tame it. It's just an attempt to get its attention. Without getting in bite distance. Okay, look at that. Now the question is, can he get back out of there? Oh shit. I think the answer to that is yes. But what if we could draw it into the hole and then put a gate right here where it came back out? Here, let's, let's see if we can pull it in here again. You know what? Let's try something, actually. What if we... Where's that thing at? What if we just do something like that? Because these are metal billboards, so he shouldn't be able to chew through them. What if we could draw it in from this side and it, and see if those will hold it? Let's let's see what we can do here. Ouch. I don't want that to happen too many times. All right. Uh We need to kind of get it to go down in the hole. Hmm. Hmm. That looks sore. Oh, I was going to say, that kind of looks stuck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back to the base and make some some metal gates. Because I think we're on to something here. Um, even if we can't get it caught in that hole, if I, we, we still might be able to draw it down into the cave itself, which will make it super easy to trap. Uh, plus, I need to get my bird healed up. So, I'll, I'll see you guys back here. Alright, guys. Changing plans. 
We got a level 50 Quetz here. And uh, I think I might try and actually take it out. So what we want to do... If, uh, you know, this is a pretty dangerous area, so if we drop it and then it dies, you know, so be it. Actually, we should... Let's kill this Rex first. It's a low level. I already checked it. But, I mean, the Quetz could go anywhere, so... But I it, I can drop it in five shots with my Mastercraft rifle and shocking darts if I hit it in the head or 13 shots otherwise. But the way we're going to do this, um, hitting it in the head's going to be very difficult consistently anyway, so... Get out of here. This will eat you just to get the heels back on the bird. Okay, so, yeah, this is like completely unplanned, random. I don't even have a quet saddle on me. I do have one back at the base, though. So we'll try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Not the end of the freaking world, man. I didn't even make it back to the base yet. I just saw this quet tonight that said, hmm, maybe we ought to try and do this. Okay, so, um, here goes nothing. Okay, we're on the bird. Okay, good. Um, now, we switch to this. How do I get rid of my parachute? Hmm, I don't know how to get rid of my parachute. It's not toggling. We might be able to, to keep it on. I don't know. Anyway, okay, where'd the, where'd the quest will go? I saw it flying over this way. The parachutes... Oh, there it is. Okay. The parachute's kind of in my way, but as long as it doesn't prevent me from shooting... We might not even need to get a tape jar. Okay. See, now that didn't even hit. That did. Okay, I'm not even going to try and do headshots. I'm just going to... Because, you know, we, we can get it down in 13 shots according to Dota Dex. thought there was a way you could make the parachute go away, but I don't know how to do it. Not so sure how I feel about it landing on the volcano slope, but I mean, anywhere is potentially dangerous, you know. Uh, there we go. Okay, well, that got rid of the parachute. I just don't know where the quets went now. There it is. This act actually could be a good spot to drop it. Not down by the river. That would not be a good spot to drop it. <laughs> That's where it's flying too, damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, it's down. So let's get down as quick as possible. And hopefully there's nothing down here that wants to eat it immediately. There we go. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. Um... It doesn't look like there's anything super nasty in the immediate vicinity. So let's just throw... Let's see, what does Dodo Dex say? Hold on. 
Don't want to tab out and then accidentally punch the bird. It says it's going to take 11 exceptional kibble and 31 minutes. Well, no, that that's for a 150, though. This one will not take anywhere near that. In fact, here, let's... uh. Usually, Dota Dex overestimates what I need. Okay, so it's, it, it says I need 5 kibble and 14 and a half minutes. All right, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Now, we could do We could try and completely leave the area and see what happens. Um that doesn't always it works a lot better in the water than it does on land. Um so now let's not do that. Let's just take the trees down around it and keep an eye on it. Um do I have my spike traps? Ooh, I do. Okay. Yeah, we'll put some spike traps around it. After I clear some of these trees out. Alright, so I will bring you guys back when the Quetzal stands up, or if something bad happens between now and then. Alright, we got ourselves a Quetzal. Uh, we got 100% taming effectiveness on it, and um, the only thing we're going to put into stats in this particular quest is stamina. Because what we'll do then is we will... Um, let's have you follow Concord. We'll build a, a trap on it and then use it to capture a higher level Quetzal. At least that's the way it worked in the old days, so I'm assuming that's still the way that it works. Okay, I'm going to pick up these spike traps. I'm going to go back to the base, get my uh, metal gates, and then we're going to go back. You know what I'm going to do, too? I'm going to destroy all of these, and I'm going to make uh, metal metal spikes. Because what happens is these will take damage sometimes, and then I have to repair them before I can pick them up. And, you know, we, we've got the resources. Seriously? Dude, shotgun. Uh, we got the resources, you know, to make them, so that way we don't ever have to worry about them taking damage, because nothing can damage them. Guys, do not attack me. It is not good for your health. Just saying. Alright, guys, we are back at the glacier, and our Giga is still hanging out here. Um, so... What we could maybe do, I'd like to pick those uh, signs up and replace them with gates. But you know what? I could probably put the gates down um, even with the signs there. So let's do this. Let's... Um, let's put a gate here. Oh, it's already angry with us. Um, I want to... Oh, it's not giving me the option to remove snapping. I want to put this... I don't want it like... Ouch! Right next to the... To the other one. Let's go down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to squeeze through that, or she, rather. <clears throat> okay, now... I want to put one right about here. So if we can get it to go into this gap here, I wonder though, hmm. okay, 
I was just wondering if I should have this last gate I just put down out a little further than what it currently is. I don't know. Let's just try it and see what happens. Schmoink. I doesn't want to go down into the hole. Hmm. All right. Yeah, we might need to turn that other fence or sorry gate out a little more put this more out this way so it's so there's a little bit more of an opening for it to try and get in there and just because i'm not sure if it could potentially climb out this way let's also put something right there too well I'd like that to be turned in a little more this is scary okay when we first tried this earlier in this episode there was one point when it was actually down in this hole but then it was able to climb out over here so if we can get it back down in that hole, then I can block it in from behind. Um, you know, the other thing that might actually be worth trying is putting one of these down, too, just as an, some extra insurance. Um, so if we just kind of put this, I don't know, right here, maybe? Okay. Um, how do we, oh, there it goes. Okay. It sets itself. It looks like that'll stop it long enough for me to, you know, get the gates in behind it. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. What if we get back like down here? There we go. Okay. It's trapped. So quickly. Put that there and no don't land put that oh we got it down inside okay hmm okay well that uh, completely changes the plan so let's go ahead and pick these guys up because we're going to need them down below now to try and trap it down there so if we do this, not quite that, but this and this. All right. Is it trapped now? I think it's trapped. Okay. Let's just wait a second and make sure that it can't actually get out. And I think we got it. We'll worry about what we're going to do to get it out of here later. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm hoping the cavern is big enough for us to just walk it out. Okay. Cool. Um, you know, just for the hell of it. I don't want to get too close, but you want to eat my brains, don't you? Let's put that there too. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it works. It works. Okay, so let's see. Dodo Dex says that it's gonna. Uh, this is a wait. What level is this? Actually, hold on. It's a level thirty-five. Okay, it's kind of low, but that's okay. It's a Giga, and it's a female. Not that that matters, because we're going to need to get a male, too, in order for our long-term plans to work. Uh, but according to Dota Dex, we should knock this thing out in 25 darts with my long neck rifle. 29, uh, sorry, 25 shocking trank darts. And then it should stand up with three exceptional kiggle, uh, kiggle, kibble in about 11 and a half minutes. All right. So let's do this. Uh, it doesn't seem to have any kind of headshot modifier. 
And because their torpor drops so fast, you want to just continue. You don't want to wait. You want to just shoot it. Keep it going. So I don't know. What was that? Three shots? Four shots? I already lost track. But uh, it shouldn't take too many to get this one down because it's pretty low level. If the mail that we eventually get... Um is uh, reasonably high level, then we can just, you know, breed them and get a, a higher level female. But this is a start. Hey! What the hell are you doing here? What level are you? Wow, 125. Okay, I don't have time to deal with you right now. I gotta get this thing knocked out. Yeah, go over there and get et. Yeah, you go away. Either go get eaten or go away. It's your choice. I'm not going to choose for you. Ouch! Damn. Good thing we have really good armor on. It might be torpor running, but who knows, man. They, they tend to run away and then come back anyway. Yeah, I, I would say it's definitely torpor running. Oh, shit. I accidentally tabbed out there. Okay, it's got to be going down pretty soon, I would think. We haven't been able to keep a steady barrage on it as a problem, though, so that's why it's taking more darts. Thing has got such a huge bite range. And it's down. Nice. Okay. Megatherium, uh, you need to get the frick out of here, dude. Seriously. I don't want, I don't want any screwing around here. Alright, now um, it's going to take three exceptional kibble. Stand this girl up. And uh, we are, I do have biotoxin, uh, which basically has twice the potency of narcotic. If we need it, we might not need it though. Oh, we might though. Look how fast. Look how fast that torpor's going down. This is crazy. Um, yeah, let's get let's get some biotoxin on it. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah, the torpor drain on these things is just insane. All right, so let me back up a little bit. I don't want to accidentally hit it. I'm gonna tab out again here for a second. And Dunderdex is saying we're gonna to need to feed it 34 biotoxin. to make this work. Uh, and based upon what I'm seeing, I, I agree with that. So let's do this. Let's feed it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's feed it about half of that. Yeah, this worked out pretty good. It seemed like it took the bear trap, the large bear trap, to get it to actually fall through that hole, though. Um. The only other thing is, is I, I do need to make sure I can get it out of here. Um, it's not going to get out that way. So we'll see how we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so we got almost. I can't tell. Uh, wait, what does that say? Hold on. 45.3%. Yeah, so it's going to take definitely take three kibble. Tame effectiveness is 97.7%. Okay. Well, whatever. I'm not super worried about taming effectiveness. I just want, be, you know, because we're going to use this to make eggs anyways. 
It'll be more important on the mail that we get, assuming the mail is high level. Uh, but I think even low level giga, giga eggs are still going to give you a shit ton of XP for leveling. All right, so it's um, I pumped a little more biotoxin on it than I probably needed to. Uh, it's possible that we could build a ramp to get it out through there if it'll fit through that crack. But let's um, let's fly down this way and see what other potential options we have for getting it out of here. Maybe we could get it through here. Yeah, we we might be able to get through here. We'll see. It's definitely our our best bet so far. Uh, let's fly down a little further. Possibly could get it through there. Um, doesn't look like we do, we could want to take it this way. Get out of here, bird! You don't want a piece of me. Yeah, we might be able to get it through here. Okay, so there's a couple spots that might work. Um, I think that the the final exit, though, down here gets pretty low. The ceiling gets pretty low. Uh, oh, there's a drop. Let's go see. I don't know if it would be able to fit through here. I mean, we can always try it, I suppose, if we had to. Uh, we'll take the Dodic Saddle that that and I don't really give a shit about the rest of that stuff don't need it um yeah let's just drop that stuff down <coughs> so this seems this seems a little bit too low for a giga to get through but it just depends upon you know where the collision on the dino registers with the collision on the iceberg but uh, yeah, we're, I I seriously doubt we'd be able to get it through this way. In fact, you know what? Yeah, even if we could get it down all the way, where's it going to go from here? So this is not an option. Um, not likely anyways. Not with those I little icebergs and stuff in the way. But we have two potential spots where we could just literally walk it out. And one, at least one, maybe two spots where we could r build a ramp to get it out, if nothing else. So here's the thing, if I can just easily walk this out of here, um, this is a really good spot to trap a giga, giga gi, gigantosaurus, or a giganotosaurus, that's what the hell it's called, for future reference, because they do, obviously they spawn in this area. I saw a video where somebody trapped a giga in the passageway into the caldera of the volcano too. Um, and I was actually planning on doing that, except for that, um, the you know the giga that was down there eventually succumbed to the lava. It just went into the lava. All right, this is awesome. Our very first giganotosaurus. Let's see. We need a screenshot here. Without grass in the way. So let's remove that. Let's get the camera turned off. For a second. And here, we need you to look at us again. How's that for a screenshot, eh? Now, um, the next step is to see if we can walk this thing out of here. Rex saddle, Gigantosaur saddle. Okay, so our first option was... Pretty sure we can't get it out that way, so let's bring it down here. Let's see if we can get it out this way. Nope. <laughs> it's just a little bit tight. Ah, crap. Okay. 
is it maybe possible for me to yeah see it's not necessarily going through the highest part so let me see if i can steer it out Oh, baby, look at that. Woo! All right. So, yeah, the um, the Glacier Caverns, guys, is a good place to tame a Giga. All right. Nice. So, um, I'm going to take the gig back to... Uh, to the base and just let it wander around the art yard because we can't really do much with it until we get a mail. Um, we'll go take a look at the um, uh, Fars Peak. So basically it's the, the mountain that's all the way to the northeast because Giga spawned there too. And we'll just keep our eyes peeled for a mail. And once we can find a mail, uh, hopefully it'll be you know, a little higher than this one, but even if it isn't, we'll take it anyway. Because, again, the point is for them to make eggs for us for leveling our Therasinos, which is our boss army. Uh, that's their main purpose. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. I'm going to continue to look for uh, Uteranus, Therasinos, Tapahara, and Arex, all high level, uh, except for maybe this one, uh, as time goes on. And we should eventually uh, be able to tame... Um, all of those creatures. I do have, you know, I do have Rexes, of course, but... Eat him. But the ones that I have are, are pretty low level. And I'm not planning, actually not planning on using Rexes anyways. But, um... There you go. Go get him. But I want to have them as a backup if, you know, just in case... The Therizinos don't work out for some reason. I, I think they will, especially if we have a little more time to, um, you know, get them get them uh, some mutations stacked on them. I think they're going to do just fine. But, you know, we'll see how things go. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Can we do um, a wave goodbye emote? How about a salute? There we go. All right, see you guys.